high in tutorial 14 and 15 we made a real time clock with the ds3231 and i2c lcd models using the arduino nano and the pic16f876 microcontroller respectively this tutorial will show how to assess the inbuilt temperature sensor of the ds3231 rotc model you will also see how to set and display the alarm function alongside the date and time these will all be organized with a menu program on the i2c lcd stay put if you want to get into the details or subscribe to this channel like the video and download the circuit diagram ladder logic and x file for arduino nano and pick 16F876 microcontroller from the link in the description below. A buzzer and LED have been added to the initial Arduino Nano circuit diagram from tutorial 14 and to the pic 16F876 microcontroller from tutorial 15 to provide the alarm output. The ladder logic for this program has part of the real time clock from the last tutorial with some twists. There are 90 rungs in the ladder logic with associated branches with comments. The logic is simple but looks complicated, so please pay close attention. First, let us consider the menu structure. It has the main menu, sub menu, and execution menu. The main menu has four displays that show the date and time, temperature, alarm one values, and settings. Repeatedly pressing the menu button will show the display from top to bottom and then to the top again. The sub menu is only available for the settings option with the enter button. It has the set time and date display with the pointer on set time, set date and alarm with the pointer on set date, and again set date and alarm with the pointer on set alarm. They can be assessed with the down and up buttons. The menu button is used to exit the sub menu to the main menu. You can assess the execution menu for each sub menu option with the enter button to set the time, date, and alarm. The execution menu can be exited with the menu button or with the enter button after the necessary adjustment. The up and down buttons are used to adjust the respective values for the time, date, and alarm. Now, let us see how this is implemented in LD Micro Ladder Logic. A plot of the I2C LCD is first created with variable names of P11 to P116 for the first row and P21 to P216 for the second row. The I2C write instructions in rooms 87 to 89 displays the content of these variables at a specified location on the LCD. Room 2 initializes the main menu, sub menu, and execution menu to display the home screen once at the program startup. Room 4 executes the navigation of the main menu display with the menu button, while room 6 executes the navigation of the sub-menu with the up and down buttons, named here as x -Inc and x -Deck. When the variable main is 0, rungs 8 to 18 reads the values of the time and date from the DS3231 model as explained in tutorial 14. Rungs 20 and 22 then transfers these values to the variables of the LCD screen plot. When the variable main is equal to 1, rung 24 reads the value of the inbuilt temperature sensor from the DS3231 model. There are two operating temperature ranges for these models. DS3231S measures temperature from 0 to plus 70 degrees C, while DS3231SN measures from minus 40 to plus 85 degrees C, which this logic is based on. The temperature value is 10 bits with a resolution of 0 0.25 degrees C and is read from registers 11 and 12 hexadecima as shown from the model datasheet. 
the upper 8-bit integer section are stored at register 11 hexadecimal, and the lower 2-bit fraction section are stored as the two most significant bits of register 12 hexadecimal. The temperature value is encoded in two's complements. This means that bit 7 of register 11 signifies positive temperature when it is 0 and negative temperature when it is 1. When bit 7 is positive, the value from bit 6 to 0 is converted to the temperature in decimal. But when bit 7 is 1, the two's complement calculation is required. This is done by an exclusive OR of the value with 255 and 1 added to the result to obtain the negative temperature value. The two bits of register 12, which can be represented by 0, 64, 128, and 192, corresponds to the fraction values of 0, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, and 0 0.75 degrees C. Thus, this section of the logic check for the sign of the temperature with the bitwise AND from the bitwise variable operation option of the instruction menu. If it is zero, the temperature value is read and converted to ASCII to be displayed on the LCD without the positive sign. But if the sign bit is one, an exclusive OR also from the bitwise variable operation instruction set is performed on the temperature value with 255 and 1 added to the result to determine the negative temperature value. It is then converted to a scale to be displayed on the LCD with the negative temperature sign. This section reads register 12 and determines the corresponding temperature fraction value. Rungs 26 and 27 displays the temperature values on the LCD. When the variable main is equal to 2, Rung 29 to 35 reads the alarm values of seconds, minutes, hour, and dates from the DS3231 registers of hexadecimal 7, 8, 9, and A respectively. These one-shot rising instructions ensure that this section of the logic is executed at startup. Rungs 37 and 38 send the alarm values to the LCD. This section of the logic checks the control register at hexadecimal E if alarm 1 is enabled or disabled. When both bit 2 and bit 0 values are 0, the alarm is disabled. Alarm 1 is enabled when both bits are 1. The test if bit sets and test if bit clear instructions from the compare variable option of the instruction menu performs this task. The alarm on-off status is then displayed on the LCD with these instructions. When the variable main is equal to 3, rungs 40 and 41 displays the settings menu on the LCD. Pressing the enter button at this point make the variable main equal to 4. It allows the sub-menu to be called up and subsequently the execution menu. Rungs 43 and 44 displays set time and set date with the focus on set time. This section returns the display to the main menu when the menu button is pressed. And this section allows the execution menu to be assessed when the enter button is pressed by making sub 1 equal to 1. The adjustment display for the time is carried out by rungs 46 and 47. Just like in tutorial 14, rungs 49 and 51 adjust the hour and minutes. When the enter button is pressed, the new value of the hour is sent to the ROTC model and the focus is shifted to the minute adjustment by this instruction. This instruction makes sub 1 equal to 0 and returns the display to the sub-menu. From rungs 53 to 63, a similar operation is carried out to assess the date menu and set the date, month, and year. The alarm setting menu starting from rungs 65 to 79 
has similar operations as the time and date settings but for ROM 71. It enables or disables alarm 1 by making bit 2 and bit 0 of the control register to be 1 or making them to be 0 respectively. This instruction reads the current state of the control register at address hexadecima E. These instructions check if the alarm is enabled or disabled with the test if bit sets and test if bit clear instructions. While here displays if alarm 1 is off or on. The up and down buttons either enables the alarm or disables it with the set bit and clear bit instructions from the bitwise variable operation option of the instruction menu. Rung 81 reads the status register at hexadecima F and check if the alarm 1 flag is set, which indicates a match of the set alarm with the time and date. It also checks if the alarm is enabled before the buzzer and the LED are turned on. Rung 83 resets the alarm output. Compile and upload the code to your device and test the logic operation. Watch tutorial 12 on how to configure LD Micro to compile I2C instructions in C mode for Arduino and tutorial 15 for PIC microcontrollers. Use the menu button, up and down buttons, and the enter button to navigate the menu structure. Set the alarm dates, hour, minute, and second. Observe that the set alarm is displayed on the main menu section. When the date and time matched with the set alarm, the buzzer and the LED come on. The alarm buzzer and LED can be reset by pressing the enter button. You can modify the logic to include alarm 2, which uses registers B to D hexadecima for minutes, hour, and day with its corresponding bits in the control and status register. You can also write the logic to set the alarm once per second, when seconds matches, when minutes and seconds matches, when hours, minutes, and seconds matches and when day, hours, minutes, and seconds matches the required time. This can be done by enabling the required alarm max bit, which can be assessed at bit 7 of register 7 to D hexadecima. Other features of the DS3231 model that can be enabled in your logic are 12 hour AM PM and day of the week with more details in the data sheets. Finally, you can adapt the menu structure to your specific application. The number of I2C instructions can inadvertently extend the PLC cycle time, thereby slowing down the program execution time. Thus, other functions like the timers and the URAT that works with the PLC cycle time may not work as expected. An expected new release of LD Micro may provide a fix. Until then, you may want to consider the serial LCD in tutorial 10 for applications that requires the timer and URAT. Please click on the like button if this video is helpful to you and share your thoughts as well. Also, subscribe to this channel if you have not. Hope to see you in our next video.